the time and attention to give it to it right now for full price. So, so yeah. Um, all right, let me get situated. We can go ahead and start our game here. It'll be a short game, so I would assume we'll be finished by like 3.34. Um, let me go ahead and switch us over to this key and this and this. Bring up game sounds. All right, so I'm just gonna move my little pickles and stuff. I don't know if this is gonna be a good spot or if I can just put it down here. That'll probably be good. All right. Um, so again, this game is before your eyes. It is a, it's essentially similar to like a walking simulator style game, but it is, um, based on like an emotional narrative story about like living in the moment and every blink that you take jumps you at some random interval ahead in the future. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. So I haven't gone through any of the settings. We'll go through all that stuff together. I like to go through this stuff just to kind of see what sort of accessibility options there are. Um, so we're using eye detection. I don't know if it's gonna, I think I'll just have it pick up on my other webcam. Um, cause I don't think it can pick up through the other one. Turn on V-Sync, we got graphics. We'll just keep it at highest. Subtitles, we want subtitles on. Um, let's see. Some gameplay features will be altered when using subtitles. Uh, would you like to enable limited subtitles to keep these features unaltered? Yeah, I guess that'll work back so not a lot in terms of like settings and options but you know subtitles that's already a great step forward not a lot of games have subtitles it's probably going to go through and calibrate the camera yeah here it is okay so we're gonna do sorry i got a ton of different cameras let's see if it'll pick up i think this is the camera i've got in front of me yep yeah cool no my face is lit awkward to blink on command. Alright, cool. Got them all. If the game stops detecting blinks accurately, press the spacebar at any time to recalibrate. And as always, let me know if there's any sound issues, anything like that, or if the video stops. And I'll do it. This game is about blinking. See, every time you blink, the game will notice. Oh, I'm not doing anything. It's like picking up from that. See how this works? Try blinking on the white spot. Okay, try blinking on the white spot. Oh. Oh, I have to like aim at it. That's cool. When you see a metronome and blink, you'll jump forward. Keep blinking. That's cool. This is really cool. So there is a click on option as well from what I heard that they uh, instead of having just the eyeball like tracker so if you are playing this on something that doesn't have a webcam there is a button to click well, to where you can there, click to do stranger. it. You're a real bright and shiny one aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name but sadly you got no mouth to speak with or hands to shake with or nose to look down with so we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you, if that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. See all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? A notion? 
I love that he's got a dictionary right there. Uh, a premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now you see that tower out there? The big scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Storm. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you, well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. No, shut up, you trash bird. <laughs> you had your chance. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. <laughs> So sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Don't be afraid, and don't try to fight it. And just try to enjoy it this time. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? Let's go get you some seashells, what do you say? You see that big spiky plant over there? That's called an agave. Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree, covered in flowers. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one. This is so Why cool. Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Now where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it in here? No. Hey, go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. Now, we have to really do something. This is gonna be cool. Oh, 
you want to play along with mommy, don't you? <laughs> Give it time. I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. This is like so sweet. Oh. Sounds good, honey. I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the music. <laughs> It sucks. I want to stay and listen to them, but they're like, you can't stay. What do you think he's thinking about? I don't know. Probably solving the problems of the universe. So, do you think he's going to be smart? I don't see why not. I mean, we're both pretty smart. No, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on people. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my piece, John. It really means a lot. Sure, a little mess of color. Hey, we do not throw things in this house. If you're mad that you aren't good enough yet, you'll just have to keep working at it. You know, one day you'll be able to. I'm like trying so hard not to blink. See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. Ugh. He made me practice so much. I hated it at first. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? <gasps> I'm trying so hey, hard Haley, not to blink. Are you ready to see something really special? I just don't want him to get attached. Richard. What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, what's wrong with that? We can't keep him, can we? I mean, I'm... It's so cute. <laughs> now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Rock the piano, I want to stare at the kitty. you go doesn't that make you feel happy like you just want to jump up and down now what about C minor do you remember how to play that one very good just one note different that one sounds sad doesn't it amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels <gasps> She's gonna like get sick. Your little friend on your piano there. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes which I very quickly lost. God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Where, 
would you want to go? If you could only go to one. Oh gosh, I can go to both. Love to go to. Oh, I'd love to go to Greece. I love this cat, y'all. I want a sweet little one-eyed Siamese baby. Oh god, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Don't worry, I already did. Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized in the folder, sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. <gasps> the kitty just peed on the papers! When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty oh, surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Why not? You're a working woman now. I guess Why that's does he look so sad? Well, don't let it go to your head, but yeah. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost. This in game the is like kicking me, like I right here, like dead in the field. To visit. This is so cool, okay? Like, you know, my father once told me. When I was about your age, home, Dad. the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. Mm. So I asked him. That's a cool quote. What about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. He said, yes, I suppose. If you made I love this like old style metronome. I, I used to have one when I was well. um, in middle school. <laughs> Just like this. Note that's left for me. That's not a good phone call in the middle of the night. No middle of the night phone calls are usually ever good. need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. You're off. There you go, buddy. <laughs> okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my. Well, I don't think you like that, pal. A Sorry, buddy. Of the city. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Hmm. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but if you keep going back out there every day. Gotta eat by a coyote. The cat? Turned to be petted. What? Where's the kitty? <gasps> no, the kitty is no, lost. I, I said I'm really worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? She's pregnant. She's gonna have kittens. Uh huh. And that was based on. 
Oh my friend could pee hole distance from the butt. <laughs> it's further away or so He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. Have you able to pick up a new book? Yes. You know, Italian is a particular interest. No, I meant any book. Oh, yeah. Got those two. They mean you're expensive, right? No. I know it seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex, but just take it one day at a time. Trust me. You're really getting there, honey. Next week we'll start working on your other hand. I've always wanted to take piano lessons. Chris said, find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, or everything is wrong with that. This game was so cool. I want that box full by the time I come in there. If you don't play with it anymore, we're getting rid of it. Congratulations, B. First of many, I'd assume. Kids protesting. I feel like this is like the start of the hey, romance, is like the kid next door. Hey, you. the slowest moving forward ever. I'm not doing it, but... Why are you always out here taking photos? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Chloe! <laughs> Quiet, everyone. Betty's about to play for us. You just have to like follow it with your well, eyes, I guess. Well, he's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, Elle? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. I mean, not since he was four or five years old. And, and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No. Trying so hard not the to blink. The class is world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. Mr. Isaac. The class will be broken up in Hey, you. Minutes. Look on your desk. I wrote you something. Dear weird neighbor kid. We're in the same class. What a coincidence. Please keep in mind that while we're at school. We don't know each other. Do not talk to me this ever. Love, cool. Chloe. I want each of you to write it down. Those who cannot not remember the, the past are condemned lines, to repeat it. Not stare off into space. Okay. Now I will go on to the next slide. <laughs> Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. You were taking... So those who do not remember the past repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. And I suspect he bought it for himself. <laughs> the little guys are pretty cute, though. I will admit that. Concert. Oh, conch yeah, oh, conch shells, yeah. I don't need to think of that crap. I 
definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys had become friends. Oh, sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Did your dad just thank me for hanging out with you? <laughs> That's a very interesting detail. It's called a magnet school. I must have been to a magnet school. It's about an hour away in a town called Burton. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. You know, life... So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that- I was originally gonna go to a uh, music school, Douglas Anderson School of the Arts here, and I ended up going against it because I knew I didn't want a career in music, but I always think about what would happen if I ended up going to that school. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there and a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try and we can see if you start enjoying it. Just like to see you really rise to the occasion just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. What was that? Was originally that a music major? What is going on with you these days? I barely know who's kidding. He doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go because of Chloe, I would assume. Oh my god, Benny! What are you thinking? Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. I wonder if it gives me a different story if I were to pick up the phone. Oh my god. Is she really calling you again? What, is she obsessed with you? So listen, I found a concert... What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. Oh, he's fine. Let him talk to her. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on right now? Okay, you know, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't raise your voice like that. Well, then don't stick your nose in the things that you're completely check. A newbie. Yeah, I wanted to do marching band, which is why I ended up going to um, the high school I did here in Jacksonville. The of truth and justice would weigh the deceased soul against and I'm glad I did. Heather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale. That hey, is Thomas. Mr. Kidd. That's and you are Look at that's it. a she. The head of a crocodile, fur of a lion, see, and the body of a hippopotamus. Though I would not say that to her face. Now, as you can see, she is ready to devour any of the deceased who do not pass <laughs> judgment. Ew, why is he so scared to do this? Okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. You better pick up my call, dude. I, it was memorable until about my junior year, and there was a, a situation, I'll talk about it at another time, but after about my junior year, I just didn't, didn't really care about it anymore. I wasn't having a great time with it. Family's arguing. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand. It really helped me out of a slump, though, like, because my mom passed away the middle of my eighth grade year. So, like, that was the first time I've really, like, been out and, like, around a ton of new people. 
So I, I am very thankful Lights for marching out. band in general. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. Thanks, Mom. Richard, will you send to turn the lights off? Jenny, Mom says turn the lights off. Yeah, Mom says you should. Wow, didn't think you'd actually pick up. I mistook you for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in T minus now, okay? You know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Or to get off of your chest. Okay. I don't think Conquest is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this Yeah, weekend, she passed away in the middle of my 8th grade year. he was year. explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So, I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Like, my favorite vegetable is this tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably the least popular boy in the school, but I also like hanging out with you the most, which was also something I wanted to talk to. This you whole about. like, this game is just kicking me in the feels. I like it's so sweet. Out with you a lot, which is weird because after what happened with my mom, I never like hanging out with anyone. So this has been a big surprise for me. In a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. My cousin never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. I love how it gives me a break to be able to, like, read, or to be able to, oh, dang it. I was, I was just saying I could do it, and then I blinked. Out in the cold all night. I appreciate You're that, Lord. Sick, yeah, my mom passed away from colon cancer. We were just okay, fundraising for um, American I mean, the Association for something. Cancer Research last Maybe week. Just try and close your eyes now and get a little she passed away from layover. colon cancer when I was about um, 12, 12 or 13. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. Okay, I think oh, that's gosh. enough. Oh, I think I'm doomed to fail here. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan? Wow, oh my god, Gigi, what the fuck? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Gigi, as you know, Burton so isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path. Okay, hang Whatever on, hang on. Okay. What the fuck was that? <laughs> thank okay. you for the hundred and fifty dollar tip towards the model I, I goal. Really want to thank Jesus you Christ, thank you. That is incredibly generous of you. I you didn't have to do that. Quite the drive. Let me see. Can I pause? Okay, I can pause. We need to pause for a second. That's incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much. Holy shit. I mean, yes, but still, a tip of.